Hello, good day viewers. We come back once again. Today we have this interesting exponential equation and we're going to solve for the values of x. Yes, of course, one can easily say that x is equal to 1, right? Because 3 to the power of 1 times 5 to the power of 1 is 15. Therefore, this is the solution. But the question here is, is 1 the only solution? The answer is no. Fortunately, this equation has two real solutions. Now, let's go ahead and find the other solution. Okay, so here we have 3 to the power of x multiplied by 5 to the power of x squared. This is equal to 15. Okay, from here, let us, let us take the natural log on both sides. So, here we have the natural log of 3 to the power of x multiplied by 5 to the power of x squared. This will be equal to the natural log of, instead of 15, we will write it as 3 times 5. Okay, now let's take note of this property of the natural logarithm. The natural log of a times b is equal to the natural log of a plus the natural log of b. So from the left hand side, that will become the natural log of 3 to the power of x plus the natural log of 5 to the power of x squared, then this will be equal to the natural log of 3 plus the natural log of 5. Now, there's another interesting property of this natural logarithm. The natural log of a to the power of b is equal to b multiplied by the natural log of a. So from here, this will become x squared times natural log of 5, and here will become x times natural log of 3. So we have there x squared multiplied by the natural log of 5 plus x multiplied by the natural log of 3. This is equal to the natural log of 3 plus the natural log of 5. Okay, now from here, we have to subtract the terms from the right-hand side. So here we have x squared times the natural log of 5 minus natural log of 5. Then here we have plus x multiplied by natural log of 3 minus natural log of 3. And this is equal to 0. Okay, so from here, natural log of 5 is common, so we factor it out. So here x squared times natural log of 5 divided by natural log of 5, we have just x squared minus this, this divided by this here is 1. And here, oh sorry, that is plus, right? So we have here plus, here, factor out natural log of 3. And here we have x minus 1, and this is equal to 0. So let's write this properly. We have natural log of 5 into bracket x squared minus 1 plus natural log of 3 into bracket x minus 1, and this is equal to 0. Now from here, remember this x squared here. We can write it as x squared minus 1 squared, which is the difference of two squares, which is x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 1, right? Okay, so from here we have the natural log of 5 into bracket x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 1, then plus the natural log of 3 into bracket x minus 1, this is equal to 0. From the left hand side, x minus 1 is common, so we factor it out, and we are left with natural log of 5 into bracket x plus 1, then plus, here, the only thing here left is just the natural log of 3, and this is equal to 0. So if this times this is equal to 0, either this is equal to 0, or this is equal to 0. Okay, so from here, we all know adding 1 to both sides, we get that solution, x is equal to 1. And from here, we can subtract natural log of 3 from both sides. But before that, let us open this bracket here. So we have natural log of 5 times x is x times natural log of 5, then plus natural log of 5 times 1 is natural log of 5, then plus natural log of 3, this is equal to 0. So do not forget that here, we can simplify this. So we have to simplify it to a single log written. So that will become natural log of 15. Because 5 times 3 is 15, then this is equal to 0. So subtract natural log of 15 from both sides. We get x times natural log of 5. 
is equal to negative natural log of 15. If I put by the natural log of 5, here by the natural log of 5, so here we arrive at the second solution that x is equal to negative natural log of 15 divided by the natural log of 5. And this is the other solution. Thank you for watching. Please kindly subscribe to my channel. Also like, comment, and share. Bye-bye.